Hi guys, welcome back to some more um, Alone in the Dark. I don't think we've got anything for that. Uh, we're all having a great day. Let's crack on with this um, story. So get to every this night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre, where you may rest, and I shall wait. Uh, the bad boiler upstairs. The upstairs clock with its ashram motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Clermont Harbour. As my memory is my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see a Taruella? Um, I want more than anything to let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with the one under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had travelled to Tonkre. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Fucking weird. People of Deserto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He is caught up in treating me. How can I expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world or will blast everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waits, he seems to be a clear thinking man. Maybe Bure Guard? The dark man offered me a prison, I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark into the dark pack. Everybody's safe except for me. The painted tile. Oh that's the thing for the boiler. Also you have to collect the remaining ones then. This. Oh, is that for this then? Oh, uh, so now we're going to move them. So we've got to build the tree of Gondor. about this looks like some sort of talisman no I don't oh, help me out here will you <sighs> I would kill the guy throw some of this stuff out I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around He thinks that's a lot. Fucking hell, I've seen some people's houses. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's striking. That's one word for it. I want to save this one.
All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. We closed that door when we came in. Why is it suddenly open? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? This just became like a fucking shining. This guy seems to be more affected by it than her. What the hell is going on? Where am I? You are alone in the dark. Now the door's closed again. Typical. How is that thing? that what the hell were them two of the buggers yeah we'll definitely take those to take three or four bullets to put down hope we get a better gun with a bit more stopping power when it comes to things like that I either want a better gun with more stopping power so I've got to fire less bullets or a lot more ammunition Go that way. This has got a very, a um, very silent hill feel to it. One to sprint. Why? It's a cash register. We can use that in um, Lethal Company. We're worth a fortune. Johnny the Conqueror. Honestly, then I misread that and I thought it said Johnny Connor. And I was like, what the fuck? John Connor's in this? Is the Terminators? Holy God, Johnny the Conqueror's big. Don't let them get inside, Conqueror. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? No, oh, no, owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? 
pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, Carnby? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the Mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Pastiche. That, that's Pastiche, that guy. The big motherfucker. Preserved reptile. Oh, it's not one of those things. Okay. Pistol bolitos. Anything else in here? Oh, we got. So I locked her place up so the ghouls and goblins can't get in. Have we got like a... Uh, have we accessed a map on this thing? Oh. Oh, bugger. It's only of the house. What the fuck is that thing down there? I wonder how the stealth system of this game works if you've got like a detection meter or something. What the hell is that thing? was that goddamn thing? I'll give you this, you're one ugly son of a bitch. I thought I'd try and kill it, I don't know if it was like a, you know, I don't know if it was like a boss level mob or something, but I thought I'd give it a go. It just looks a hell of a lot more alien and ugly than the other ones. is I 
flunk about you just immediately, didn't you? Oh. So I wonder if the axe is infinite. Oh, so that thing that was outside wasn't one of a kind. He's got friends. He's got look likes. Oh. Well, this is um, disgusting. Oh, oh! So holding three does that. That's a light attack. Oh, that's the heavy one, okay. Oh, bugger. It's coming down the stairs. It's coming down the stairs. Are you, you going to come down here? Come on. What the hell's he doing? Down this way, you freaky fucker. You're the fuck to pieces, you son of a bitch. Die. Oh, no weapons do break. Fuck. Juju something or other. Who the fuck one of those is? I feel like I'm a human here playing like a Zandalari fucking troll game. The Juju beast and all that stuff. So what the fuck? The woman weren't getting the answer she wanted from God and she turned to voodoo. And that's what she's she's gone with now, but I mean I only thought voodoo was known for like the voodoo doll. And that's to, like do things to people in it. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's um, see if she's got any information on Jeremy's Tiny coffin? Now see, if I could get a bigger version of these, I could buy one for Matrix, and that would make him a awesome bed, he'd love that. It's, it's like lined with all stuff that he'd, he'd love to sleep in. You know, like a really, um, make it really comfortable for him. Uh, do we consume with that? Does that heal us, does it? Okay. So he, he's, he's, his alcohol heals him. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. An old talisman shipped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. I 
think it's meant for the talisman. Oh god. Right. We've got a thing anyway, but what I'll do is I'll do this in the next pot. I'll um, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next part. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.